Including black rice in my skincare routine changed the game for me over the past couple of months and let me show you how I did it. Hi guys and welcome back again to my channel. So I've been procrastinating doing this um, skincare thing and so this is a public holiday so I'm not going to work and I thought it was the best time to do that. So because I just got off the shower, um, I was already dressed to go out. I just said let me just do it because I haven't done it. Usually I've already showered so I already washed my face. So I use this normally. I use the simple moisturizing face wash. That's my skin with some water. So this me that fresh start again. So my skin is all wet now, right? Yeah, yeah, I just do it. But I just got up the shower, like I said, so. Skin is super, super clean. So now that it's done, the thing I do is go in with my, um, what's it called? Toner. This is the toner I use, as you can see, it's here. So it's the Haru Haru Wonder Rice, um, Black Rice um, Toner. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, so. This is the star of the show so this is the black rice um toner from what's the name of this brand again aru aru it's amazing i love the toner i've used it for like a year so amazing try it out guys i just take it when my skin is still um what they call it damp i just take a few drops because why not so i don't dab it on my skin to apply my um, things all at once so that I feel like it, it works that way it moisturizes my skin better so I'm just going to pop this back in next I like to go in with my vitamin C serum so I use this one exactly so I use this this is the um, what do they call it with my vitamin C that I use and I've, I've been using this since um, August and I love it. August last year. So I just take three pumps. One, two, three. Notice how, notice I didn't like touch my skin. So there's a, there's a distance, right? Exactly, it doesn't have to touch your skin. As you can see, so I tried to use like the upward movement to get it into my skin or in. Once I'm done with that, I go in with my um, moisturizer. So I use this. Exactly. So this is what I use. It is from this family, the industry family. So, yeah. So again, I'll go with a few pumps. There it is one, two, three, four usually so i'll just put one here content so this is how it looks this is basically how it looks when i don't have it all distributed on my face but this is what it looks like so let me turn this so you see what i'm referring to exactly so turn this back this and then so i'm going to distribute this now so again, the upward movement, again, get the corners of your mouth, get the corners of your mouth, again, you can see I'm already glowing, glowing. So the next thing I like to do is walk out the door like this, but I'm not done. So I'm going to use the Vaseline, I love using this on my lip in the morning. For some reason, this price tag is still here. Sorry, I'm gonna take it out. So, exactly. So I use this, the Vaseline um, Blue Seal Pure Petroleum Jelly. I love to use it on my lips, so I just take it. Next, I'm gonna use my sunscreen. 
Exactly, so this is what I use. Exactly. So, again, again, no. let's go here. Let's go, 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 let's go. So, again. Then it means I'm ready to take on the world. This is basically how I do it. And in 10 minutes, five minutes, I'm ready for work, basically. So, so I'm just gonna put on my wig for us to get this look together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And get it done and over with, obviously. So this is it, basically. So I'm like ready to take on the world right now, like anywhere, any day, anytime. I'm ready to take on the world. So it's this is my like 10 five minute stop makeup. Very minimal but very effective kind of makeup. My skin stays glowy, healthy, and moisturized all day long. I'm not like overly sweaty. Yeah, but I, I look like it looks shiny, it looks good, it looks um bright all day long so that's basically my little secret for me less is more mm, yeah for me less is more if you notice i use basically just a few products to do all i did like i didn't need to do a lot so this is basically the outfit and i'm ready to take on the world regardless of where the meetings or whatever i have to do i feel confident as a lady i feel good as a lady and all whatnot so maybe even because of the laugh my lashes done i don't know if you can see it so i have my lashes done um so if if i didn't have this done maybe i'll have thrown in my mascara or something that with this i feel very confident as a lady and i feel like i can go anywhere anytime even without like doing my makeup but like i said it starts with your skin you have you have to have clear skin and you have to do that because a lot of these products to be honest you don't even need like a thousand and one products on your skincare shelf i keep saying this over and over because most of the time you're all using expired products because at the end of the day if you have like 10 20 things you are most likely not to finish it before the expiration date and most of these cosmetics actually have like a 12 months lifespan once they are open so you're not likely to finish this thing before um the 12th the 12th month ex before the 12th before the 12 month expiration date and so by all means you're using expired products so i don't know why you're expecting by all means you're using an expired product so i don't even understand why you're expecting um like a miracle to happen or something to happen to your face so one of the things i'll say is less is more once you have your cleanser, you have your primer, your sorry, say primer, your toner, you have your vitamin C or um, vitamin C or whatever treatment you're trying to target for those who have hyper hyperpigmentation or whatever. Because I use this sometimes as well. So whatever you're trying to target, it depends. So once you have that, and then you have a moisturizer, and then you have your sunscreen, I feel like you're good to go. You don't need to put a thousand and one product on your face and if no one has told you in 2023 quit using these things they call organic products because they're not organic you will even see them mixing mixing and conjuring your ancestors into those things and then you use it on your face after i tell me you're using something organic where you're seeing all the chemicals if you don't know what organic is go check it out please organic products are meant to be free from all those nonsense and yama yama because at the end of the day that i feel like the skincare industry is a very unregulated industry especially here in nigeria like a lot of people get into that thing without any license some of them are not even estheticians some of them are not dermatologists some of them the products are not even tested right some of them just go into this business so long as they have a shop one place in obalande or aja or in yaba or somewhere they just conjure this thing in their in their kitchen mix it up put it into a plastic container get an instagram page 
um, promote art and people start selling. And then they get one light skin girl and then the girl promotes it and then everyone without even checking the authenticity of the product. It's becoming um, quite annoying to say the least because people just do these things and then at the end of the day you notice that you are doing more harm than good to yourself. So, um, this, the purpose of this video was actually to just tell you that you could actually do little or nothing uh, because your skin in itself from within a lot happens so you're drinking a lot of water you're taking a lot of fruits you're you're eating right you're sleeping well obviously your skin is gonna show it but if you're not doing all these things if you like use 1001 products ain't gonna work baby ain't gonna work ain't gonna work Pee. so um I just thought to do this video like really quick and I just get on I'll just get out and I'll see you guys in my next video. So subscribe, share, like and I'll see you in my next video.